Hello. So on this uh, demo, I will show you how to configure the global vortex authentication using SAML integration with security access multiple factor authentication. So first of all, you need to do is look into the security access portal, uh, security access uh, cloud uh, um, authentication service console and create your application. So you just go here and go to application and go to my application and add a new one. Add an application here. So when you add application, uh, you, you see a list of each application available and you, you can select a suitable one using the new one or using the template. So for example here, I can add a new one using the Paro Anto, Paro Anto template. And from here, you can enter some brief information of the applications, the name, the description, and click on next. Next one, leave this one is empty. You go to the identity provider information. To key in the identity provider ID here, yeah, whatever you want, and you try to replace with the ID here with the same. After that, the other thing you should do is uh, generate a certificate bundle here, yeah. save it in your machine, and choose the private key and certificate to load in the configuration as you as you can see here the first one you should configure the uh, service provider so service provider information so the ip here is the ip from uh, Proronto robo protect portal and gateway ip so i i key in here as uh, one The first one, you should configure the user information uh, from your AD or LDAP source so that uh, the system can check and verify the AD passwords if, if need. The next one, you should select the access policy you want to authenticate user. So for, for, the, for the example, I use uh, my low risk app, just mean it can use any kind of uh, authentication methods if available. Next one, I uh, will use some uh, information of uh, how it can be sold in the SSO portal and how uh, the link is. I save it. And from here, you can see the list of applications you can uh, provide to the user in here. And one of them is a power rental network you can see here. Uh, the other one you want to do now is uh, export the metadata from the application. Uh, so that later on you can import to the uh, parental network configuration. So that's click on export metadata and the file will be downloaded for using later. That is uh, for the security access configuration. So now I will move to the parental network site. So I look into the parental network configuration page. So you can see here I am using the 900 version with Robo Protect 511. And from here, the first thing I need to do is 
quyết tính giờ some mail identity provider profile just from here you can add a new one or you just do the import and you do uh, you key in or pro to the to the metadata file you have download from security assets before and import in after i import the file you can see i have a profile here and when i click on it so this is a, a configuration uh, please uh, at this time i don't want to validate the identity provider certificate so that i just uncheck this for testing and click on okay yeah after we have the SAML identity provider have been configured, we now go to the authentication profile and you create a new one using the SAML. Just click on add new and you key in the SAML, uh, the name, the authentication type here is SAML. And you you have to select the ident uh, the IDB server profile here, and in the advanced tab, you should add the list of user you want to authenticate them using this profile. Uh, here I use all, so that means I authenticate. I will authenticate all user. Okay. That is for the uh, user authentication profile and IDP profile. So now we should assign the authentication profile to uh, the global protect portal and global protect gateway. So let's go to the network tab. So from the network tab, you can see the portal here. Right? When I click on the portal, go to the authentication part you can see i have two profile here the upper will be used if the condition match of course so for example here i i put the isa sid summer authentication here with those information the name it will work for any operating system and the profile, I, I am choosing the SID access summer profile. That's, uh, this one we have created before. And I change some notification message here for easy detects uh, um, the, the activities of the system. Okay, this is for the authentication. Uh, this is for the global protect portal. So, by configuring this, whenever user access to the global protect portal, they be, will be request to provide authentication using SAML. The second one here, I will try to connect the gateway access level. So the same one, I create a new gateway uh, VPN here with authentication tie. The first priority is the security access SAML. Of course, here I have a couple of uh, demo ensemble for the authentication manager radius as well as uh, identity router radius one. But the first priority is uh, security asset agent somewhere here. Uh, to create this, you can just, uh, just, just add, uh, click on add and key in the name, any OS. The profile here, we choose the uh, somewhere profile. And again, you can set the message. After you da have done all of those configuration, just click on commit to uh, save it in the system. And we go to the testing phrase. So now after we finish, on the configuration we will do the testing 
first of all, I would want to do the testing for the global protect auto looking. So I key in the global protect auto address. And you can see here, the access is redirected to my single sign portal, which is uh, ISA security, security access identity router interface. So here I need to key in my username and my ID password and click on sign. And because I have configured the access policy on security access using the any kind of authenticator. So the most convenience process, uh, most convenient method can be used here, which is I need to, I will, I will receive the notification on my phone. And I just click on approve on this phone to accept the request. And you can see after I click on the approve, the process will be continue automatically and I just click, click on continue to look into the, to the portal. So you can see here after I finish and complete the authentication in security access, access to portal, the access now will be redirected back to the global portal website and from here I can download the agent and install in my, in my machine now. The second one I want to show here is uh, uh, doing the authentication with agents. So here, after I install the agent, I can click on the agent here and you can see my agent information. It will connect to the gateway IP from uh, Global Protect. And now I can try to connect. And uh, this time the agent will connect to the Browaranto Network Global Protect Portal and Gateway. And because it have, has been configured to use some so the authentication request now will be redirected to the security access portal again. And I need to do the login using my username and ID. And again, because of the access policy, I am now requested to provide a type of authentication using the IFFA. And again, the message will be sent to my phone. From here, I can see a list of available authentication methods I can use. The authentication code or security token or biometrics instead of the approved. So from here, for example, I want to use a biometrics one. That's, that's for demo, right? You can see again, the notification sent to my phone, but this time I need to use my fingerprint to accept this action. And after I provide the fingerprint to approve, the access will be continued. And when I click on continue, you can see the global protect agent processing, still processing the, the configuration. And the second time is so this is because we have configured the gateway asset level with the FFA again. So it checks on the web gateway. And after checking, because I have done the authentication step before, so at this time it will be automatically accepted. So now I can uh, finish the connection using the global protect VPN. That's end of my demo.